you know, it's always an advantage to work out at a gym with other people around and somebody coaching you, but some days that's just not in the cards. You have met our friend, Coach Squats from Training for Warriors in Ponte Vedra Beach, but you have not seen him put to the test like this. All right, so here's what we wanted to do. We wanted him to be challenged with some surprise household items, things you just might have laying around, and see if he could put together a workout with those things. So I hit the streets to get some random suggestions. Take a look. And I'm asking them if you could have Coach Squats work out with any household item, what do you think it would be? You are first, Debbie. What do you think? An ironing board. An ironing board. Okay, Dana. A laundry basket. A laundry basket. <laughs> and Trish. This bag of wine. Okay, so... So what we've done is, hello, Coach. How we doing, Eden? We are good. So while you were standing here, we brought in the items that you just heard about on that little video piece. So these are the items that you've been tasked with using in some kind of a workout. What do you want to start with here? You got well, let's, let's start with the uh, dirty laundry, right? So yeah, uh, okay. <laughs> what you want to do is make sure, number one, that the uh, laundry is probably out of there before you start doing some push-ups. But hey, great body weight exercise. We'll see if this basket holds up. 200 pounds, it's holding up pretty good. So anybody that's 200 or less, we can bang out some push-ups in the hamper. No excuses. And hey, sometimes going up the stairs, if your laundry room's upstairs, filling with uh, all sorts of stuff, that's gonna make it even uh, more resistant. So that's a good thing. Okay, and then you saw this one. This was the bag of wine. Oh, of course. Do what a surprise. Uh, wine in Florida. I learned that really quickly that that was a uh, sixth food group. And uh, hey, before you twist it off, I'm going to give an exercise called the, the TFW twist. And this one here, the bigger the bottle, the better it is. But make sure it's filled, not emptied, so you get a little more resistance. So you get down here, hold that bottle as quick as you can, side to side, rotation, anti-rotation, and you'll be on fire before you know it. Keep the bottle full. That's my only recommendation. Save the twist for the, uh, for the ground. Okay, and now we have the ironing board. The ironing board, uh, that, that's a good one uh, for a good stretch. I wouldn't uh, recommend much more than that, but hey, you can get a good hamstring stretch on here, and uh, it's a good way to finish a workout. And uh, I think we have one yeah, more. Yeah, well, I wanted to throw this one in because I've, I've kind of seen things done with paper plates, and we had some in the kitchen. So, so I this one's the best one. Last set, okay. best set. You got two paper plates. You can use them as furniture movers. Maybe you have those around your house. You want it on the, either a, a carpet or a grass type of feel, but a great workout for the core so you can get down to push-up position working mountain climbers, which is going to get the heart rate up as well. You can do some knee tucks. You can also add some push-ups in, and you can even finish with some pikes at the bottom to rock your core before you uh, put anything maybe that you shouldn't be putting in on the plates you're going to eat. And don't use the plates that you're going to put your feet on either. That's the other tip of this. So day. don't eat off of this. <laughs> Don't eat off of those, yeah. <laughs> don't, don't, like, open up that wine. You, you went through that so incredibly fast. Do you feel like you could look around, once you have a common knowledge of how workouts should go, you can look around any place and find things to work yeah, out with? Yeah, and, and, and when all else fails, your body weight, that's the best piece of equipment you have, and there's no excuses why you can't be using that at home if you can't leave the house, too. So You did a phenomenal job being well, put to the test on that. Because I thought, when I first saw the wine bottles, I'll tell you, honestly, all I could think of was curls. I never thought about using Yeah, or these it. curls, yeah. We're going uh, <laughs> to take a different route on that one. Get the, uh, hey, a good quote, too. you got to burn it before you earn it, right? So uh, you can use those household items to, to fire that one up before you, you get to the actual wine. All right. Well, that was great. You did a great job with that. Very, very nice. And if you want to learn more about Training for Warriors and that program, then you can find out more by going to our website at rivercitylivetv.com. Just click on the As Seen on RCL tab, and we will be back. We're back in two minutes with more fun. Live